Up next in today's coaster review is an awesome inverted roller coaster called Flight Deck at California's Great America in Northern California. And this coaster is a great example of an awesome ride that just needs a little bit more to it. It's a short ride, but it does pack a big punch. I found it to be one of the more intense inverted coasters out there. But let's of course first discuss the stats a bit. So it was not too tall, only 102 feet in the air. And something that I thought was funny was that because this is Northern California, just being 100 feet off the ground, it was kind of cold up there, which was something that I thought was pretty funny. I'm not used to Northern California. And normally when you go up on big tall roller coasters, you don't really feel that noticeable of a temperature change. But this was in the middle of the summer and I was pretty cold at the top of flight deck, which I thought was funny. But anyway, so you go into that swooping drop, you have a 91 foot drop, you go straight into a vertical loop. Following that, you have this cool like half helix sort of thing, where you then go into a zero G roll over the front entrance. This is an awesome element. After passing by that, you then go over top of the station onto the other side of flight deck into a corkscrew, helix over the water, and then brake run. So it only has three inversions with a max speed of 50 miles an hour, track length 2,260 feet. So not very long at all. A lot of inverted coasters will have close to 3,000 feet of track or more than that. Some inverted coasters like Banshee are over 4,000 feet long. So lengthwise, it would definitely be nice if it was a bit longer. And really that is the only complaint that I have with Flight Deck. Other than that, it's intense, has some great inversions, and it really looks nice with that new color scheme. Now I will say I don't know if the name Flight Deck really fits with the color scheme anymore. I thought that the blackish gray color scheme fit with the name better. So if I were to change anything about this that doesn't have to do with the layout, I'd probably give it a new name and some better theming because I think that the Flight Deck name is kind of out of date at this point. But I really do like the new colors. It really pops and looks good against the natural landscape. You have lots of palm trees and you have it go over the water. So those colors really contrast with this scenery. So just to go through a few basic things before wrapping up this review. Yes, I did find it to be pretty smooth. You'll find some inverted coasters have a rattle and I didn't find that with this one. I believe I got to ride it twice, once in the front run, once in the back. I don't quite remember which one I preferred, but I remember liking both of them. Anyone who's ridden an inverted coaster in the front row and back row knows that you're going to get some pretty big differences there in terms of forces and the type of feeling that you're going to get during the ride. And as of with most inverted coasters, I generally prefer the front just because you get to see a bit better, but back row definitely has its advantages. So favorite element of the coaster? That's a tough one. I do like that zero G roll, but I also really like that end helix over the water when you are like 90 degrees up against the water real close to it. I thought that was awesome. If you are in the far left seat, it almost feels like you can reach out and touch the water. So if I had to recommend a specific seat, I would say no matter what row you're in, choose the the farthest left seat. I thought that that gave a really cool experience when you go over that lake. So for its final score, I'm going to give it an eight and a half. I'd say it's the second best coaster at California's Great America. Gold Striker is number one, but this is a very strong number two. It's definitely a favorite invert of mine. I don't think it's top three, but probably top five. It really has that old school invert feeling, which is something that I really like. You don't see that with a lot of newer B&M inverted roller coasters. So those are just a few of my thoughts on Flight Deck at California's Great America. Post in the comment section below what you think of this roller coaster. Have you ridden it? If not, would you like to ride it is on your bucket list. Post all those thoughts below, and I'll catch you guys later.